If you guys play Modern Warfare, I'm sure you're aware that there is a lot of hacking and maybe you've encountered one, but the past month or two, it's been really bad. And I get a hacker probably one to two times every hour that I play this game. And I play Search and Destroy only, so... But this game was one of those games where I found another wall hacker. Didn't have aimbot, just wall hack. It's really easy to tell if they have aimbot, obviously. But this game, this person was wall hacking without a doubt. Super, super easy to tell, for me at least. Now the weird thing, this person was in the game the whole time, but didn't spawn in until like the fourth round. Now, I don't know if this person was AFK, or if they were turning their hacks on, or what they were doing, but... They didn't spawn in until the fourth round. So that's kind of suspicious, kind of odd there. And one thing too, apparently my teammates... Apparently these two teams were shit-talking each other before I joined, like they played the game before. And what I'm guessing happened is we were destroying them this game, and... This person turned their wall hacks on, and their friends told them to turn the wall hacks on, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's what happened. But... 90% of players... Bad players, or even just normal players, they can't tell. And, I mean they can't tell if they're hacking or wall hacking, like, they, they, they don't even know what it is, like... And I kinda wanna explain... In this video, to tell you guys how easy it is just, just to know if somebody's wall hacking... Or aimbotting. If they're aimbotting, it should be pretty obvious, but people can hide wall hacking really, really good. And I'm guessing that's exactly what happened with this game. We're up 4 0, and this person's like, okay, I'm gonna spawn in, turn my wall hacks on, and we're gonna just come back and beat these guys. Now, I only killed this person, died two times. I killed them both times. And this person also caught up to me in kills, and I had, I think, like 20. I don't know. And it's very, very rare a person has the same kills as me on the other team. Because I'm a very, very good player, and I'm not trying to be cocky. It's just it's just a fact, and it is very rare when somebody on the other team is, is decent enough to get that many kills against me. So that's already suspicious enough. If you look right here, the name is Julia. That's the person. Four rounds in, hasn't spawned in yet. This is the round that she spawns in on. We're up 4-0. And this is the round that she spawns in on. Now, I have dead silence. So dead silence, Julia's not going to be able to hear me, obviously. And I end up killing her this round. Now, I'm going to tell you why I kill her. She's the second person right here. She is wall hacking somebody across the map. And I flanked her with dead silence. And she was already shooting somebody. There's no way she could know that I'm behind her, especially that fast in the round. Because I was there in 5-10 seconds. I rushed so hard. So that's the first time I killed her. I still don't know if she's hacking because I killed her, obviously. That's the very first round. She spawns in. She was wall hacking somebody cross map. I came behind her. Obviously, her wall hacks don't show behind her, so... Or maybe they do. Honestly, I don't even have a clue. But she was busy shooting somebody else. That's, that's the thing. It's the next round where I get a little suspicious because... I'll show you guys. I don't have dead silence this time, but I still like to rush. So I decide to run right through mid here and go right into their door in lockers. Stupid play, but works sometimes. And I die like this. Instantly death. You can watch right here. She zooms in before I'm even there. Now, any good player would hear the door open and could expect that I'm there. You know, so I thought that. I was like, hmm, maybe this person heard the door and just pre-aimed it, you know? So I, I, I was a little suspicious, but I was like, okay. Maybe she just heard the door and was just pre-aiming it. So I'm like, you know, that's all right. That's a good play, you know. And then this round is the next round. She is killing everybody on my team. Everybody. I kill these two guys. My whole entire team is dead because she has killed everybody. She has crossed the map. I have dead silence. I use dead silence. No way she can hear me. I don't even run through water. I'm on the very edge of the wall. I die instantly. The very first second. Like, she was already aiming there because she knew I was there. Because she did know I was there. I couldn't see the kill cam because my teammate died too fast. But in the kill cam, she knows exactly where my teammate is. Aims bottom. Kills him right there. So now I'm, like, really suspicious. Like, okay. There's no way that she was aiming that corner that hard. I had dead silence. There's just, there's no way. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go A. 
and see if I can fight her, see if I can challenge her, because she goes A. Because I know she goes A, she went A last time. I end up killing her this round, and I'm going to tell you guys why I kill her this round too. My whole entire team dies this round, and I'm stuck in a one on four. Now, I'm crouch walking. There is no possible way she can know that I'm in this building right now. No way. She kills my teammate, runs up, tries to flank me because she knows exactly where I am. She knows exactly where I am. But I think she thought I was going to keep walking and she can hop right in. Because most bad players wouldn't hear and most bad players wouldn't turn around. I turned around, killed her, obviously. I don't think she was expecting it. Now, this is the round where I'm like, okay, this person is wall hacking. There's, there's, there's no way this person isn't wall hacking. I run up here. Obviously, this guy's camping in the back, whatever, whatever. And she's been going mid like the whole time, every time. So I didn't know this was her for sure, but I thought it was her. She opened the door. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to crouch walk, sit in this corner. She knows exactly where I am. She opens the door and knows exactly where I am. Now, I could have hit the door. I don't know if she shut it. I think she shut it right there. I don't think I hit the door. She knew exactly where I was. But the thing that really sets this off is after she kills me, she aims directly on my teammate, who is right behind the white crate, by the way. Right behind the white crate. She aims directly on him. And if you look at the minimap right before I die here, my teammate is the exact same spot where she aimed through the white crate. So I'm like, okay, this does not make any sense. Like, because I swear I didn't shut that door and it even shows her shutting the door. And then here's the kill cam too. Knows exactly where the guy is. Now, that's a predictable spot, predictable, predictable corner. But it's, it's just really fishy. It's really odd. It's really, really odd. In this round, I know, I know she's wall hacking. There's no, there's no doubt in my mind. I tried to grab the bomb because the only way we're going to win is if I can get, if I can plant the bomb right away. Obviously teammate gets it, doesn't plant the bomb because he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. And we, we lose this round. She gets a VTOL and I probably should have ran quicker, but I got shot. So that's kind of what made me and the VTOL blew me up and we're going to lose the round. Obviously this person has 17 kills now. It's very, very obvious. But yeah, she came back, she passed me up, 18 and 2. I only killed, I was the only person to kill her twice. But this person, 1 million percent, was wall hacking. It looks weird because most people that cheat are really bad at the game. And you can tell by looking in her kill cams, her aim is not good. It is not good. But even if you're the worst player in the game, if you have wall hacks, you can get kills, obviously. It's so easy. I hope I can inform you guys a little bit. If you do see something like this and it's suspicious, it's mostly going to be a wall hacker. Now, there's good players, obviously, but most of the time you can just easily tell. And and like I said, another reason why I can tell is just because her shitty aim. She has terrible aim, but she knows exactly where everybody is. And she was on PC too, by the way, if you're wondering.